Hi, Pep Stars. This is Miss Boyne from Pep Practice. Welcome to our curriculum based test practice for 2024. I am delighted to share these papers with you. We'll be doing this, a series of the 2023 past papers. So the first video that I'm going to do is the science curriculum-based test. And that's the paper that was done last year. So I'll review that paper and share the solutions that I came up with for the answers. This video will be done in two parts. This is part one of the video. I'll do part two of the video just so that the video doesn't have to be long and it is in sizable chunks that you can watch. All right, so I'm gonna share the paper to the screen. I've done the paper in, the, the paper in uh, Google form. It's easier for the students that I work with to select answers and submit it. So that's what I'll be presenting. So this question has 40, this paper has 40 questions and each question has only one correct answer. So let's look at question one. All living things are all living and non-living things along with their surrounding. That's the statement. The statement is referring to the environment, land, location, or the home. The correct answer is environment. So once I click on the answer, you'll see that it comes up with a tick, but it's the correct answer. Let's move on to number two. Which process is not a part of conservation, maintaining, consuming, restoring, protecting? Maintaining, restoring, protecting all has to do with conservation while consuming is using up of a particular resource. So that's not conserving. So that's the correct answer B. Move on to number three. Read the statement below, then use it to answer item three. All three members of Mr. Park's family working offices that are close to each other. Each family member, however, chooses to drive their own car to work, which best explains why the family's choice to drive different cars could be bad for the environment. It may increase the need for more fuel efficient vehicles, traffic congestion on the road, chance of family members getting into accidents, amount of carbon dioxide reduced per family. So the vehicles release carbon dioxide or emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So therefore, D would be the correct answer. So when a person's carpool, which is using one car to travel to the same location, we reduce carbon emission. So the correct answer is D. Let's move on to the next question. The diagram below shows how a large mass of land has changed over 20 years. Use the diagram to answer item four. So for year 2000, we see that the brown colored area on the diagram is where it's land with no ice cover. And for the white part, it's land with ice cover. The question says, which is likely, which is the likely cause for the change that occurred? A, changes in global sea levels. B, reduced average rainfall. C, changes in global temperatures. D, more frequent droughts. The correct answer is, C, 
So when there's global warming or an increase in global temperature, we will see the ice melting and the exposure of more land. So that's what we're seeing in year 2020. So the correct answer is C. Let's move on to number five. Which organ system controls the body's action? The nervous system, skeletal system, excretory system, respiratory system. The nervous system controls the body's function. The skeletal system is the system that consists of our bones. And the excretor system really releases our excrete waste from your body. And the respiratory system is responsible for our breathing. So the correct answer is the nervous system. Number six, use the diagram below to answer item six. What is the name of the organ labeled X? The name of the organ labeled X is the lung. The correct answer is C. If you notice we've jumped from six to 11, there is an error where some of the questions are missing. If I happen to get a hold of the paper with all the questions as you over. I just place it in the comment section. But we're continuing for now on. For now. Number 11. The diagram below shows a pencil in a glass of water. Examine the diagram, then use it to answer item 11. In the diagram, we're seeing the pencil above the water surface, the pencil. Below the water surface, drinking water or drinking glass, and there's a and there's water in the glass, which is likely which is the likely cause of optical illusion seen in the diagram. Light rays are bouncing off the surface of the water, bending as they enter the water, scattering as they pass through the water, being absorbed as they enter the water. And the correct answer is B, the bending as they enter the water. This is also known as refraction. Let's move on to number 12. Which describes a property of light? Light expands when it gets hot. Light can travel around corners. Light bounces off shiny, uh, shiny objects. Light can pass through all types of matter. So we know light doesn't expand when it gets hot. Light travels in a straight line, so it doesn't travel around corners. And yes, light bounces off tiny objects. So that is the correct answer. And we know light does not pass through all types of matter. So the correct answer is C. Let's move on to 13. Which is an example of a solid to solid mixture? Water and wine is a liquid to liquid mixture. Cornflakes and sugar is a solid to solid mixture. Let's look at the others though. Syrup and lime juice, that's also liquid to liquid. And oats and milk is solid to liquid. So the correct answer is B. Let's move on to number 14. 
which is true about mixtures. They are formed by a combination of substances. They cannot be separated. They're always formed using water and the substances in a mixture are always visible. It is true that mixtures are formed by a combination of substances. It is not true that they cannot be separated. Mixtures can be separated by numerous methods. It is not true that they're always formed using water. There are other forms of mixtures. And the substantive mixtures are always visible. That's also not true. We have clear liquid mixtures. The correct answer is A. Let's look at number 15. Examine the diagram below and then use them to answer item 15. Which diagram does not represent a mixture? The correct answer is I, because I, which is letter E, because I is the only one that is separated. All of the others have more than one particle together. So the correct answer is Let's move on to number 16. Read the statement below, then use it to answer item 16. After Dad was finished mixing the lemonade, he poured it into a piece of cloth that was fetched over a jug. He did this to remove the seeds and dregs from the lemonade. Which separation technique was used to remove the seeds and dregs from the lemonade? What Dad is doing here is trying to filter out the things that he doesn't want in the lemonade. So the current method is filtration. So C is the correct answer. Let's move on to 17, which is not a state of matter. There are three states of matter, gas, liquid, and solid. So the correct answer is I. It's not a state of matter. For number 18, it says, which process occurs when gas changes to liquid? When, uh, when substances are frozen or freeze, frozen, freezing, when freezing takes place, that's what I mean, it is changing from liquid to solid, melting is from Solid to liquid evaporation is from liquid to gas. So condensation is the correct answer. It's from gas to liquid. Correct answer is All right. Which diagram likely represents an irreversible change? For A, we can see that even though the particles are not joined together, they look the same. And for B, the particles are the same. For C, when you move to the opposite side of the, or the right side of the, the arrow, those objects look completely different from the one on the left side. And for D, they're the same particles, only turned in another direction. So the correct answer here is
is he because this looks like it's irreversible. It can't be reversed. So the correct answer is C. All right, so let's look at the last question for this video. I'll continue with the remaining questions in the second video. It says, which of the following is likely to be a good conductor of heat? And the correct answer is D, metal. A cup made from metal. All the other options are insulated. So the correct answer is D. So there you have it. We've finished part one, which is one, number one to 20 of the science 2023 curriculum based paper. We're going to continue with items 21 through to 40 in the next video. Please make sure to watch that video so you can see the entire paper. I'll see you in that video.